Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see how to access the AnyPoint platform API components through API. So in order to do that, I'll just log into my AnyPoint platform. So this is my AnyPoint platform login and I'll just log in to the AnyPoint platform. So once you log in, you'll be able to see the list of application and the API and other details from this particular uh, AnyPoint platform, which is our uh, control plane. So now uh, how do I access the data which is available in this particular platform through API? So we are going to access some of the information from this AnyPoint platform via APA. So how do we do it? So I'll just go to the postman and I'll just uh, call this URL. So first you need to uh, call this URL anypoint.mulesup.com accounts login. There you just type post and uh, go to body raw and you just select the content type as JSON. So here we are going to pass the username and password of our AnyPoint platform. So I'll just pass my username and also I'll pass my password. So this is the AnyPoint platform, my username and password. First we'll log in, we'll call this particular URL in order to get the token. So I'm just going to give my uh, password, which I will change it after some time. So this is my password. I'll just click send. So when you click send, it will give the uh, token. See here, if you sometime if you receive this invalid CSRF token, then you just go to cookies here in the request and delete this uh, CSRF. And also, yeah, so CSRF, you remove it and then you just close this one. And again, you click send, you'll be able to get the token value. See access underscore token. So this is the token value which I'm going to use it, which is ending with 6B. Okay, so this is my token number. So what I did is I just call this URL and I pass this payload in my post method and response I received this token number. Okay, so this is a token number. So this is a token number. So whenever we are going to call further API, we are going to use this token number. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call another API which is going to talk to our AnyPoint platform in order to get the data. And one more thing is important in order to access any data from this AnyPoint platform, you just go to access management and organization and go to your organization and take this organization ID. So whenever you wanted to call anything from this platform, you need an organization ID as well. So I'll just copy the organization ID. So this is my organization ID of my AnyPoint platform. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to explore the API, so which will help us to retrieve the data from any point platform. So that API, it's available in this particular public portal. So normally any point which has their own exchange where we have a public portal inside that we have a portal for any point platform, which I'll open that. So here MuleSoft has given a lot of API. Inside that we have one API called any point this API, API platform API. So this API, which will help us to take the data from our AnyPoint platform. See here, the API platform API expose the management capabilities of AnyPoint platform for APIs, enabling them to be used by external site. So for example, I'm going to access my AnyPoint platform using this particular API. Okay, so here the API details are there. For example, organization, if you wanted to get the active organization, right? So this is the URL okay so you will copy this endpoint I'll go to the postman and I'll paste this one and I'll just give this is a get method only and if you see here it's a get method and what uh, query parameter it required just uh, put the actual endpoint so organization active okay so here uh, so there is no organization we need to pass but again we need to pass the BRI token. So in order to do that, you just go to authorization and uh, select the BRI token and the token number which we uh, received, right, which is ending with 6B, right. I'll just copy that. So now I'll just click send. 
see here it is giving a response from any pine platform which is having a name tech lightning which is our uh, organization name right so if i'll just parallelly i'll open my any pine platform so this is my organization name organization domain is ending with 21 and client id is ending with 47a see here domain is ending with 21 and client id is ending with 47a and also we have other detail as well it's a developer trial account which will get expired on 30th august so these are the uh, active organization detail uh, which we are accessing from my any point platform api which is a api platform api so now we are getting 200 okay and we are getting the response so this is to get the active organization and now i'll just go to my api platform api i'll just explore what other things are there if you look at it there are many apis okay so we just uh, use this active uh, api and i'm just checking is there any other things which we can explore it further See here there is something called permission as well. So if we wanted to explore this permission, right? So here they are asking an organization ID. So this is the get URL and I'll just copy, I'll open a new tab and it's a get method only. But in this particular placeholder, right, where we need to pass the organization ID. So I'll just remove that and I'll just take it from my organization ID from the notepad. I'll paste it here and permission now i'm just not giving any data it will fail because it's saying internal server error because you need to pass the the token number okay so the token number it's end with 6b so that is what it's there in your notepad as well and i'll try to send the data see here so this is the permission permission detail permission detail for my organization so what kind of permission level i have the search api is true i can search the api i can create the api and also you can manage the organization and manage the application so these are the permission i have uh, in order to i have uh, uh, these are the permission i have it in this organization for my login so we are accessing through my token so which is validating and talking to my any point platform and getting this data so here in this organization id right if you pass your organization id detail then you will get the permission detail for that Similarly, if I go to the previous tab, right, and if I ask active organization detail and where you pass your token details, right, then you will get the relevant details for your uh, AnyPoint platform organization detail. Similarly, you have many resource endpoint and also different methods, right, some of them having a get method and some of them having get post and using this documentation, you can explore the the different uh, API available in order to access anything inside our AnyPoint platform. So this way we can uh, access our AnyPoint platform through APIs. So this way we can manage, see here this API description, right? Uh, I'll just go to the API description for our API platform API. See here, API platform API expose the management capabilities of AnyPoint platform for APIs, enabling them to be used by external side. For example, I wanted to access uh, from any external application or external site in order to manage my AnyPoint platform account then I can use this API to access anything within my AnyPoint platform. Thank you. Uh, hi, thank you for watching this video so far. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this Tech Lightning channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.